Hello folks, Rob Anderson, Clean Power Wash, Salisbury, Maryland. Um, want to talk about being prepared. Um, this goes for my employees and obviously you know, this should be pretty pretty well consistent across the board. Um, when we go to do a job, we need to be prepared. We need to have the right stuff on the truck so that regardless of what acts up, what does or does not work, what kind of work we need to do, we are prepared. What does that mean? That means that we have backup quick connects. That means that we have an X jet, a downstreamer. So even if even if the rig's not a downstreaming rig, if it's one of the mega rigs, it should still have a downstream injector available. We should have bleach, surfactant, degreaser. We should have gutter cleaner so that we can do those, um, or gutter butter whatever gutter cleaner we're using at that point. So we've got at least those four main chemicals. And sorry, then we need also, we need to have rust removal, oxalic acid, and sodium hydroxide. So we've got seven actually now. You need to make sure that anytime if you run out of it on a job or you see you're getting low, we write ourselves a note so that when we get back to the shop, we go ahead and get that instead of, oh yeah, I saw we were running low. Now you're at a job, you don't have it and can't do the job. We need to make sure that we have at least two guns, two pressure guns, two spray guns for using the roof system and make sure that we have extra tips for the surface cleaner I'm not going to carry usually an extra swivel cartridge or bar but we've got those back at the shop so if all of a sudden we realize that we need them and so let me I gotta turn on a little air conditioning sign here that we're prepared and make sure we have a hundred feet of extra pressure hose that we have at least two wands one can be a short one one can be a long one but we've got to have two wands Make sure we have our surface cleaner on there. A ladder and an A-frame ladder. And the stabilizer. The stabilizer needs to be in good working condition, so it needs to make sure that we have extra of those the little PTO clips. Um, so we can make sure that we've got all four on there so that we're being nice and safe. Um, not running any risk of, of stuff getting damaged there. Need to have a spare unloader, at least one unloader. Need to have adapters because we do have eight gallon a minute and we've got the five and a halves. So we need to make sure that we have an unloader that will work both ways and that we have an adapter to go from that half inch to three eighths or three eighths to half inch. We've got those fittings. Need to make sure that we have Teflon tape. Make sure that we have O-rings. Not those things. If, if we blow an O-ring and all of a sudden water spraying everywhere, that's not going to work well. An extra ball valve for their high pressure. We can make it through it without that if we have to, but you want to make sure that you've got that. You should have at least one or two um, of the dental picks so we can get the O-rings out or we can unclog a tip if it gets clogged. You should have a spare thermal relief valve. Uh, this really, that one we shouldn't need that often because again with bypassing so much to the tank, we should be good there. Uh, what else do we need to have on our truck for extra things? to have at least one quart of regular motor oil. Probably don't need the pump oil. If we really have to get to the point where pump oil is low or we're having issues there, there's bigger things that we need to deal with that back in the shop. Um, so we've got our surface cleaner, we got bleach, make sure we got plenty of that. Um, yeah, so th those are the big things. And then, so, oh, and a pump sprayer. We need to make sure that we have a pump up sprayer. Um, and if we run into issues with it, well, we can go take it back to Lowe's Home Depot and swap it for another one. So that way, no matter what you're going up to do, you've got the chemicals that you need. You've got the equipment you need. By going to a job and finding out we don't have a pump sprayer and we got to do rust removal, well, then that's gonna that's not gonna turn out well. You know, if we've got, you know, all of a sudden there's oxidation and we don't have that oxidation chemical in there, we also need to have gypsum pellets and a bleach neutralizer either bleach stop or halt or whatever product we want to use that needs to be on there so that if we do have an issue if all of a sudden some bleach spills uh, or some plants seem like they you know are going to need a little bit extra attention we can go ahead and put that stuff on there um, for the hose barbs for the proportioner we need to make sure that we have an extra three-way ball out that there's extra um, hose barbs half inch and three quarters that we have extra hose clamps to be able to take care of those. Um, a knife, uh, you 
hose are just a box cutter sufficient so that if we do need to cut some of that hose, we can do that. Um, two adjustable wrenches, huge. And one vice grip. As long as we got one vice grip, we can grab onto if something snaps, if a plastic fitting snaps, we can get that out. I think that's the bulk of what you really need to have on each rig as a backup. And if we go to a job and I find out that we don't have that, or if I'm at the job and see that you don't have that and I tell you to get it and we don't get it back onto the rig, you know, that day when we get back, that's a problem. Because every day we should be able to go out and do a job and no matter what gets thrown at us, be able to finish that job. It may not be pretty, but we gotta be able to get that job done and then get home and, and get the reinforcements, get the other pieces and parts that we need to, to get it done. So I hope that helps. Again, this is mostly for my techs, but guys, all of what I just listed is great information or great things that everybody should have on. You need to have those extra fittings because having to go you know, pack up shop and go run over to Lowe's or Home Depot to buy other stuff is costing you a ton more money than it costs to buy those, you know, buy six or seven of those five dollar parts so that you're good to go. So be stocked, be prepared, make money.